Good afternoon to our administrators, school board members, teachers, staff, proud parents, family, and above all else, class of 2018. We welcome you. I'd like to introduce you to a few members here up on stage. First of all, our owner and president, Mr. Howard Weaver. Our Director of Education, Mrs. Jennifer Nickel. And on behalf of the Clintondale Community School Board and Superintendent, Mr. Scott Jacob. We thank Clintondale Community Schools, as well as Mr. Weaver for their vision, which helped all of our graduates get here today. For without their vision and leadership, none of us would be here today, so thank you. Class of 2018, this graduation is a celebration of your hard work over the years, and it's a celebration of you achie achieving your goal of becoming a high school graduate today. While the work you did to get here today is truly remarkable, we know there are times of struggles when you needed help. That help came in many different forms and for many di different, different individuals. At this time, I'd ask that our staff please rise. We know you put in countless hours to help these graduates get here today to reach this dream. Your dedication to these graduates does not go unnoticed, and for that, we thank you. <laughs> Parents, guardians, grandparents, family, and friends, please rise. We cannot be here today without the work you've done with each of these graduates over the years. The support, motivation, dedication, love and care that you showed with each of them is represented as they sit here today. A part of you is with them right now, so we want to say thank you for everything you've done to help these graduates get here today. Thank you. Graduates, I think you can be louder than that. You gotta say thank you to them, come on. You may be seated. Class of 2018, today we celebrate you becoming a high school graduate. You've done the work to get here today. You've had obstacles and challenges to hurdle, but you managed to find a way to get over them. Getting here is not easy, but you are here today. However, life does not stop today. Today is a celebration for you and the work you've done over the years. Tomorrow is a new day and a new beginning. Tomorrow is a new chapter in life. Maybe be starting a new career, a new job, or a new school. Whatever you decide to do, you're going to use the skills that you learned to get over the years that got you here today. So here's my request. As you go forward from this place, I would like you to make a point of reaching out to people whose beliefs and values differ from yours. I would like you to listen to them, truly listen, and try to understand them and find that common ground. You have a world of opportunity at your fingertips, but as you move forward from here, understand that just around the corner, a whole different order of learning exists in which your teachers will come from every station in life, every education level, every belief system, every lifestyle. And I hope you will embrace them and embrace that. You have been students, you will continue to learn all your lives, but now is the time for you to become leaders. In every generation, leaders emerge because they one day awake to the realization that it's not up to someone else to fix this problem or take up that cause. It's up to them. So now is the time for you to lead. Graduates, as you move forward on the next chapter of your life, know that we love you, we are very proud of you, and we expect amazing things from you. Congratulations, class of 2018.
at this time, I'd like to welcome our Clintondale Virtual Academy mentor, Mr. Scott Jacob. Good uh, afternoon. First of all, I'd like to say uh, this is one of my favorite days. I love looking around, seeing all the smiling faces. This is what we work hard for all year long, and I really appreciate all of you coming out here. I want to thank you for being here today. On behalf of Greg Green and the Clintondale Community School School Board, we welcome you today. Congratulations, Clintondale Virtual Academy, Class of 2018. We thank you for choosing our school and allowing us to work with your graduate. We wish you the best of luck in the future. Please remember, Clintondale Community Schools is a home of the dragons. And once a dragon, always a dragon. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to welcome our owner and president, Mr. Howard Weaver. Thank you very much. I was so anxious to get up here earlier because I know you're anxious to graduate today. So, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the graduation for my virtual academy and Clintondale Virtual School. Graduation's a great day. It's kind of an ending for the graduates the ending of one chapter in your life. Tomorrow you're going to start writing a new chapter. But I think you have to look back and review what happened in this chapter of my life. It's been a busy year for you, your parents, the staff, to get all your classes in, to get your assignments in, so you could be here today. And during that chapter of your life, you had a lot of support. The people in the audience, your relatives, your friends, they supported you while you were on this journey and writing this chapter. So graduates, would you stand up please and face the audience? Would you stand up, face the audience? Would the graduates give their support system, a round of applause, please. You may turn around and be seated in that order. That's your final exam. We'll be passing diplomas out soon. That chapter in your life has been very important. Now it's coming to an end. You can do as many people do. You can tear it up, throw it away, start a new one. And that's going to be your goal from this point on. How many of you thought a year ago you would be graduating this June? Isn't it amazing that because of circumstances in our lives, we detour many times? But we get back on the road. And we get back on that road to graduation. And here you are today. You are to be congratulated because you have accomplished something that others in your situation a year ago have not. So you should be proud of yourself. You should look in the mirror tomorrow and say, I'm a high school graduate and I made it happen. We're here today because of you. Because you put in the work. You had the effort. You had support. We need that support. But you, the graduate, are here because of what you've done in the last year. Now for the next chapter. And as we grow older, we have many chapters. Sometimes we have unfinished chapters. And sometimes we have chapters that we want to tear up and throw away. 
and start over again. You've got a fresh start tomorrow. You're a high school graduate. You can enroll in a university, in a college, in a community college, a trade school. Get a job where a high school diploma is required. You can get financial aids to help finance your education. We as a company are going to give, award, a scholarship to you that you have earned by becoming a high school graduate of $500 each that you can use towards your further education. <clears throat> Don't forget, don't forget where you've been. Always be looking to where you're going, but don't forget to where you've been. You've had people help you along the way, and they're going to continue to help you. You owe it to yourself and to others who have may, been, may have been in situations similar to yours a year ago to encourage them to get back into school. How many times have people told you along the way that you couldn't do it? Did you ever hear it? You won't last. You won't make it happen. Well, who's putting that period at the end of the chapter now when they get their high school diploma? You are. You made it happen. Don't you ever forget it. And dream large. Dream large, work hard, and your dreams will come true. They don't come true right away. Reset your goals, as you have done, you've experienced in the past, and continue on. You have the tools to be anything that you want to be. Take those tools and go out and take advantage of all the opportunities that you're going to have in your lifetime. God bless you, and thank you very much for choosing us as your educational institution. Graduates, now is the time you've been waiting for. Please line up as I welcome Mrs. Jennifer Nickel to read your names. Jasmine Brown. Abu Bakre Aldalaki. Brianna Lang. Peter Mukhtar. <laughs> Gabriella Sinadonovic. Helena Clark. <laughs> Kyra Roscoe. Claire Nalazetti. <laughs> Rachel McGraw. Yeah. Nija Brown. <laughs> Olivia Patterson. Adriana Smiley. <laughs> Daria Thomas. <laughs> Najee Browns. Bonds. <laughs> Marcus Clay.
Drew Kennedy. Devin Danielson. Tayson Stewart. <laughs> Jacob Mullins. Hannah El Zamzami. Emily Nanya. Alea Browning. Javion Ramsey. Damon Schmidt. Hisham El Kirsch. Deshaun Newton. Andrea Lanham. Christopher Conklin. Cheyenne Rodriguez. Kaylina Van Dorn. Summer Petty. Rachel Schoenrock. Jocelyn Washington. Okay, now to the fun part. I really like this. Do the verification to the board. Will all the graduates rise and remain standing, please? Yeah. All right. I verify to you that each graduate has walked across the stage and has met the required credits from Clintondale Community Schools and the state of Michigan and that they are part of the graduating class of 2018. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of the MISD, I confer upon each of you the high school diploma with the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. At this time, we're gonna move the tassel Take your tassel, please. Move it from right to left, signifying your status as a graduate. Congratulations, 2018! Graduates, congratulations. Please welcome your class of 2018.